Hello everyone, welcome to another trigonometry lesson by the Magic Monk. Hopefully you guys have learned everything that I've taught you for trigonometry before this lesson, otherwise it will kind of be a little bit pointless for you to keep going because you would have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but basically, uh, if you guys remember the unit circle, which I'm going to bring up now, so if I have a unit circle and I draw the radius of this circle starting from the origin to the circumference then the angle that this radius creates with the positive x-axis so this is the x-axis the angle that it creates is called theta and the point on the circumference created from the radius this point has an x-coordinate of cos theta and a y-coordinate of sine theta. Okay, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, please go back and watch the videos again. Okay, so now what we want to talk about is this term here, symmetry. So what does that mean? Well, have a look at the y-axis. So this vertical axis is the y-axis. And if we reflect this point off the y-axis, we get this angle here, which is also theta, and this point here. Okay, so now let's have a look at this point here, and let's talk about what angle this radius creates with the positive x-axis which is starting from here because right now the positive x-axis is 0 degrees and the, uh, if we rotate 90 degrees it becomes over here and this is 180 and this is 270 and so on so basically from the positive x-axis we're rotating um, anti-clockwise uh, which is where these numbers are coming from. So 0 degrees to 90 to 180 to 270 to 360. Okay, so from 0 to this point here, the angle that this creates will be 180 minus theta. Okay, so from here to 0 to where this radius is, the angle is 180 minus theta because the whole straight line is 180 so we rotate 180 degrees but then we come back a little bit so we take away theta degrees and that'll be um, the angle of this green line okay so it's 180 degrees minus theta so what is um, the x and the y ax, uh, the x and the y coordinate of this point. Now, it will have the same y coordinate as the point on the first quadrant. Okay, but the x coordinate will be the same as this point here, but reflected. Okay, so for example, let's say this point is 0 0.7, then this point will be negative 0 0.7. Okay, but let's say this point here has a y coordinate of 0 0.65, then both of these points will have a y coordinate of 0 0.65. So the way that we write this is we write cos of 180 minus theta equals so we're talking about the x coordinate of this point here the x coordinate of this point here will be equal to the same thing as the x coordinate of cos theta but we're going to put a negative sign in front Okay, now let's talk about the y coordinate. So sine of 180 degrees minus theta. 
So we're talking about this point here, the vertical, um, the y corner of this point here will have the same um, y corner as sine theta. Sine theta. So you can test it out, okay, with any angle of theta. You can put it in your calculator and see that these equations will work. Okay, so in fact, let's do a quick test now to see that it all works. So if we let theta equal just any angle you want, let's say 30 degrees, cos of 180 minus 30, which is equal to cos of 150, and let's see what cos of 150 is. So if we type in, so put it on degrees, cosine 150, the answer is negative 0.866. So I'm going to write that down. And let's see what the cosine of 30 is. So cosine of 30 is uh, 0.866, but we put a negative sign in front, so it's negative 0.866. Okay, now let's do a quick test for sine. So sine of 180 minus, one, minus 30 is sine 150, which is... Um, sine 150 which is 0 0.5 and let's see if it is the same thing as sine 30 so if I put in the calculator sine 30 I get the same 0 0.5 Okay, so it works. Okay, so let's have a look at tangent 180 minus theta. Okay, now don't forget tangent is the same thing as sine divided by cosine. Okay, because tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent and the opposite side of this right angle triangle is the y coordinate and the adjacent side of this right angle triangle is the um, x coordinate so therefore if we do um, opposite over adjacent it'll be this term here divided by this term here so it'll be sine 180 minus theta over cosine 180 minus theta. All right, because tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. Okay. Now, sine 180 minus theta is the same thing as sine theta because we've shown that here in this equation. Cos 180 over theta is the same as negative cos theta. So therefore this is the same as negative tan theta. right? Because we have a negative sign here so if we put a negative sign down here we have to put a negative sign on the left as well um, so that both sides are negative. So therefore, um, tan 180 minus theta is the same thing as negative tan theta. Okay. So that is the symmetry about the y-axis. Now let's look at symmetry 
about the x-axis. So I'm going to reflect this point here using the x-axis. So it is now over here in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so we have this point here um, makes this radius makes an angle of theta with the positive x-axis. So therefore, what's happening is sorry, I'm trying to draw theta. Okay, so what's happening is we have this coordinate has a x value of cos. 360 minus theta and sine of 360 minus theta okay so now let's look at the x-axis the x-coordinate of this point compared to this point they both have the same x-coordinate so we can say cos 360 minus theta is the same as cos theta Right, because this point and this point they both have the same x coordinate. Now let's have a look at the y coordinate. The y coordinate of this point is a reflection of that, so therefore it has the same value but the negative of it. Negative sine theta. Okay, and then let's have a look at the tangent. Now, because one of these is negative, so the answer will be negative. Okay, now let's have a look at the third quadrant. So, reflecting this point, um, using the x-axis. Okay, so if we have a look at this point here actually let's write it over here so we have tangent or cosine of 180 plus theta and sine of 180 plus theta okay so cosine of 180 plus theta this point here has the same x coordinate as this point so if we have a look at this point which was 180 minus theta the x coordinate was negative cos theta so let's put negative cos theta um, sine of 180 plus theta is uh, negative sine theta right because this point here is reflected so it's down here now and tangent 180 plus theta now both of these are negative so negative divided by negative becomes positive so it's tan theta okay so if you write out all of the information in a big table I'll just do that for you guys so let's have a look at the final table in quadrant 1 sine theta cos theta and tan theta is just um, the normal one and then we go to the second quadrant okay uh, actually let's show the unit circle here as well so the second quadrant um, sine theta is the same because the second quadrant has the same y value the um, X coordinate is a reflection of the first quadrant, so it has the negative x coordinate, and then the tangent theta is um, because one of these is negative, tan is negative as well because it's opposite divided by adjacent. So this divided by this gives you a negative. Um, quadrant three, the y axis is negative x-axis is negative um, tan is negative divided by negative which becomes positive and then in the fourth quadrant the y value is negative the x value is positive and 
um, y divided by x is negative. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.